Hello world, this is what's up 2190 here and today I'm going to show you how to how to get back into your Mac if you can't boot in the normal operating system for whatever reason uh, you, uh, you know your computer the operating system crashed, you got a virus or you forgot your password what whatever and I'll also show you how to restore your Mac from a backup now for this method to work, the computer you're working on has to be running at least Mac OS X Lion 10.7 Lion. And uh, also, I, I'm going to go ahead and let you know that this will not work if the computer you're working on has a either a firmware password or a fire vault set up on it. So, um, what your, first things first, the computer needs to be turned off. So, yeah, if it's running, shut it down. And, uh, so, yeah, the computer obviously has to have power. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, when you go to start it back up, you know, start it up, and then right as you press the chime, you want to hold the Alt and op Alt or Option button, time button. you'll get a list that looks like this you can also hold the I believe command and R keys but uh, I just chose it to do the alt and option key because I'm trying to hold my phone the difference being that the command and R keys will do you right into recovery HD whereas you press alt and option the computer will show all the drives that it, drives that it can currently boot from so yeah just uh, Use the um, arrow keys to go to recovery, recovery HD, or it might say something more like this. And then you're going to want to press enter. going to give it a minute to start up. And hold on, still loading. Computer's being kind of slow right now. And uh, you'll come to a screen that looks like this. Now here you'll have several options. You can from here you can restore your computer from a backup. So like if you backed up your computer recently, you can plug your um, you can plug your uh, backup drive in, and uh, you know just follow these steps to restore your computer to the back from the backup, and then it'll automatic then it'll automatically go back to that state. You can um, reinstall OS X. Now, for this, you have to be connected to the internet, and uh, you'll have to type t type in the uh, email address and password for a uh, for a um, Apple account that was used to purchase the um, op whatever version of OS X you're running. But basically what this will do is it will connect to Apple and it will reinstall whatever version of OS X you have on your computer. So this is useful for, you know, if your computer got a virus and somehow your operating system got corrupted and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm just going to click cancel. You can access Safari from here. 
now I'm going to be honest about this, I believe all the plugins are disabled, so if, if you try to browse any, any websites that require Flash or Java or whatever, uh, you, it won't work. So, um, yeah, you can sort of look up instructions. on. It'll, Safari will automatically kind of load this page where you can look up instructions on everything you need to know You can, using Recovery HD. And you can also do Google search by normal Google search in Safari, you know. Then just go quit Safari, and uh, you can also access the disk utility from here. So, like, you can try and do try and uh, repair the disk, and uh, it'll try and see what's wrong with it. You can also e erase the hard drive. Which will blank out everything on the computer. It will erase all the files. It will delete the operating system too. So it's basically just going to nuke the entire computer. You can try to do some other things too, but uh, those are beside the basic matter. So, yeah. And uh, you can also do other things too, such as turn the firmware, edit the firmware password, and uh, let's check out network utility. You can... You can sort of analyze your internet connection. I'm just showing you this because I want to show the whole recovery HD. But uh, you can also reset any user password from here. So like if you just forgot your password, you can do that. You just go um, utilities, terminal, then you type Pass. No way. Sorry. Reset password. And then this window will come up, and you and select Macintosh HD, and uh, this right here should give you a list of users. So I'm going to reset the password of this test user to one two three four. I'm just going to do this, and I'm going to type. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you can enter a password hint if you want. Then just click save. And then this message will pop up. So, uh, that's actually about it for this video. One thing I forgot to mention is that each time you open an app in uh, Recovery HD, you have to go up here and quit the app, otherwise we'll just get this gray screen to try and do that. So, um, also, if you use this to, like, hack your friend's computer or somebody else's computer or anything like that, I am not responsible. And uh, other than that, uh, th that's about it. This is What's Up 2190, and I am signing off. Have a nice day.